everybody welcome back to my channel today i am going to be stuffing my high priority savings challenges so i've been so inconsistent with inconsistent did i just say inconsistent i've been so inconsistent with my um videos i just i don't know i just haven't been motivated to film um but i've been consistent continuing to save and put money away so I mean, that's the most important thing, correct? So I'm gonna be stuffing my high priority savings challenges. We don't have much to stuff today because um, I've been using my credit cards a lot lately. So my last check, the majority of that check went to paying my credit card. So I was able to budget a little bit from this check. So we are going to be stuffing 100, 200, 250, 270, 290, 310, 330, 350, 370, 390, 410, 430, 440, 45, 50, 55, 56, 57. So 457. So we're going to be putting away today. And just to remind you guys, I do have a $40,000 savings goal this year and I am determined to reach it. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to pull out this little book here. It's what I'm working out of for, um, as you can see, my, emerg uh, my mortgage fund, my emergency fund, and my Roth IRA. So we will be doing my emergency mortgage. Um, so we will be stuffing $55. And that would be this row right here, 40, 50, and 55. So we should have 7, um, 33, so 50 and 55. So this should be 733 and my goal is 5000. So we're not even at a thousand yet. So I have a lot of work to do on this one. So 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 550, 570, 590, 610, 630, 650, 670, 690, 710, 20, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33. 733. A lot of work to do on this one but now that I don't have my um, my monthly savings challenges to stuff I can start putting a lot more focus on these challenges I'm also going to be starting up my side hustle again in September um, I do have a new position at my side hustle um, and it's a little bit of like a like a lower position so my I am taking like a $20 pay cut, so that kind of sucks, but the position that I will be doing is a lot easier, um, so I guess whatever. It's extra money that I don't really have to work for, so I will be putting, I say that to say that um, from September to, so mid-September to beginning of December, I will be making about... 45 to 5,000 extra that I can put towards the savings challenges. So I should be able to finish my um, mortgage goal, no problem. Next, we will go to emergency and my emergency fund. I just want to save $1,000 um, this year towards it. So we will be putting 72. And once we finish this page, then we will be done with my emergency fund. So 72, 50, 70, 71, and 72. And we should have 720 in here after this. One hundred, two hundred, three hundred, four hundred, four fifty, four seventy, four ninety. 510, 530, 550, 
50, 570, 590, 610, 630, 650, 670, 690, 705, 67, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 720. So almost done with this one, so that would be nice. And then um, we are done with this book. So next we are going to be doing Christmas, and Christmas is in this little book. So I already finished this Christmas challenge here, and then the Christmas challenge in here. So my goal is $1,500. For Christmas, a thousand for my daughter, and then five hundred dollars for everybody else. So for Christmas, we will be stuffing forty dollars, and each one of these um, gifts is ten dollars. So um, once I'm done with this, it it, it will equal four hundred and fifty dollars. So what did I say? Forty. So we will be coloring. For these little presents and let's go to my Christmas all of these are in this the um, the um, balances are in the 700s that's funny 40 20 so we should have 733, 100, 200, 300, 400, 450, 470, 490, 510, 530, 550, 570, 590, 610, 630, 650, 660, 670, 680, 690, 705, 10, 15, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 20. 6, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33. That is correct. Next, we will go to my daughter's investment folder or envelope. And hers is in here. And to save time, I already colored it in. Um, but... <clears throat> $40. <coughs> Just going to open it up so you guys can see. So $40 to her investments. So on the 10th, I did take out $362 from her envelope and I bought her some shares of the, the NVDIA or whatever. <laughs> The one that, whatever, that stock that's doing really well and they just had a stock split. I know nothing about it. Um, I just heard that it was doing well and there was like hype about it and it split and it made it more affordable for me to get in for my daughter. So I just took the $362 and I bought her it. Um, yeah, I literally... It's probably bad that I just kind of follow the 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 trend <laughs> with her stocks, but she's so little. I feel like, you know, I can make those kind of risks with her accounts because, you know, she's only four. She has a lot of time. So I had FOMO and I was like, you know what? While they did the split stock and it is affordable now to purchase um, the shares let me just go ahead and buy her some shares so I think this $362 I think it it got her two shares two or three shares which you know pretty good so so it took out 362 so I was left with 67 um, and now I did I shoot did I add the $20 in here I don't think I did. So we're going to put $40 in here and this should be 107. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 90. Oh wait. 
So I did add it. So 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 101, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So do I not know how to count? 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 101, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay. And then once I finish, so my goal for her is 1000 this year to go into her brokerage account. This little book adds up to 775 so then I'll just have to do another little challenge. But once I complete this book, then I will take the money out of here again and then invest it in something else. So she owns um, she owns stock now in that NVIDA. I don't even know what it is, but she owns stocks in that now. She has Amazon, <clears throat> Apple, Google, Shopify. She has some a couple of Disney stocks, so um, I have to see, you know, what else I can buy her. So next, let's go. Oh, we didn't do vacation. We're going to do vacation. Lots of vacations next year. I have four vacations planned next year so far, so... In March, we're going to Cancun for her birthday. May, we're going to Jamaica. Um, May, we're going to Jamaica. August, we're going to Costa Rica. And December, January, we're going to Hawaii. Or, that one is still up in the air, but the other three are booked. Okay, so for, for a vacation... The goal is $1,000. So I already finished one little challenge. So now we're working on a new one to meet our $1,000 goal. So we will be stuffing $40 in here. So we'll just color that one in. And we should have $610. So 20, ooh, I took too many, 20, so 100, 200, 300, 400, 450, 470, 490, 510, 530, 550, 560, 570, 580, 85, 90, 95, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. So we should be done with this binder now. So now I have my last three binders. So we'll go with her. This is my daughter's um, like general savings, cash savings account binder. Once all this is, once all these envelopes are filled up, it'll equal thousand dollars. So thirty dollars is going into here. And so. My daughter does have a high yield savings account, so I want to make sure I'm saving cash for her. So this is the money that will go into that account once this is done. 30. Let's see how many more we have in here. I guess all those are full. So we have one. Huh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, we still have quite a few. I'm going to say I am going to finish this by October. And then I have my $1,000 savings book. And this is also to go into my personal high yield savings account. 
And today I'm going to be stuffing $25. So I'm just going to find it off camera because I don't like the reflection that these envelopes have. So 25. Twenty and twenty-five. And I did put it in right there. And last but not least, I have my down payment binder. I am a little bit behind on this, I think. Let's see. Yeah, I am behind on this, but that's okay. So we are going to be stuffing 55 or 155. Once this binder is completely full, this will add up to $5,000 and this is to go towards my down payment fund. So 155. So I do, obviously I have two big challenges left. I have this one and then my mortgage. Both of those combined equals $10,000. I am behind on this one, but I will catch up um, soon. And then, like I said, I am behind on my mortgage as well, but or my mortgage challenge, but that is okay. I know I will be able to hit my goal at the end of the year. But that is all today. Um, thank you guys for so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Go ahead and like and comment this on this video, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.